Welcome to eFlex Effects Tutorials. Today's quick tutorial will be focused on uh, materials, and in particular uh, materials such as that we use for like ground planes, areas where we're going to need a large area, and how to quickly uh, using tiling, how to quickly and easily do uh, create these uh, these larger environments. Um, for this, I grabbed a um, out of the uh, Rome pack. I grabbed uh, some cobblestones, and as you can see, when you bring it in. It's not very large and it's really not very useful like that. I mean, there's not much animating. You can't add buildings, etc., for that. But what I want to show you is how we can quickly and easily create a much larger and expand that plane quickly and, uh, and again, very, very easily. Uh, and I've got the character on there uh, for scale just so that we can reference the, uh, the importance of, uh, of, of doing things this way. So. So first thing we've got is the uh, traditional method is we would hit control and we would drag and we would essentially create a duplicate of the plane and we would try to manually operate it. If you hit G, you can look at an overhead view and then we just try and line things up. And no matter what we do, it's going to create a seam and, and I'll kind of show you here. And if you have ca with static cameras, that's not that big a deal. But if we if we're moving it around, it's very hard to. Uh, to create a seamless look and and that can affect the quality of, of your animation and and that becomes important because of when you know one of the thoughts is well we'll just overlap them a little bit and um, well you can't really do that because if they if they overlap um, iClone has a lot of problem with that and again it will create a visible scene so I'm doing this quickly. Obviously, you can spend a lot of time on this. And now imagine you had 16 or 20 of these you had to put together. And even though these are designed to be tiled, you can already see every when I move it, you can see the seams. The seams will, will pop through at certain angles. And if you just watch, and again, it's, 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 you can see a little bit. It doesn't come through on this particular, uh, the quality of, unfortunately, of, of, of the uh, screen capture. But there you go. If you looked up to the upper left, you can see where it's clear that, the, uh, that there's a seam there. So we'll go ahead and delete this, and we'll turn on the, uh, the larger one. Again, we won't have that problem. So let's delete that so we can get started. Um, so we'll go over to content. We'll create a new plane. And uh, we'll just turn the original one off. We'll keep that one as a reference. And so to expand, it's pretty easy. You just go over to the Modify tab and down to uh, Transform and Scale. Make sure you don't lock the uh, scale uh, because we don't want to increase the uh, Z. So let's just pick 200 two times. So we'll go um, 200%. Actually, let's make it 400%. Let's make it larger. So now we've got 400%. So the first thing you see, and this is why I put the character there, is you just have a larger version of the uh, of the uh, the material tile, and that's not good. Look at the rocks. I mean, he, we've we've created a hobbit, right? I mean, he looks like uh, you know like a miniature character, and we don't want that. So now, if we go over to the materials uh, tab, which uh, of course is the checkerboard, select the material, select your diffuse material. And scroll down to the UV settings. Uh, usually, that's uh, scrolled up. Just to just expand it. Uh, make sure lock ratio is not selected, and and uh, all channels is selected. This way, the bump, the brightness, the displacement are all modified equally. If you don't select that, you have to do each one individually. So, how do we correct that? So, we just take the tiling. In this case, we know it's 400%, so it's four times. So, U, which corresponds to the X, we just replace that with four. Again, 400% is four times, so this is uh, the tiling would be four times. And then we go over to the V, which would represent the Y, and we also select four. And now, if we zoom in, now everything's scaled properly and it looks like a large cobblestone area. And now we could add buildings, we could animate our character on that. Um, and again, just to flash over to the original, you can see everything is, is on the same scale. So just that easily, we were able to expand this into a larger area. And you can go beyond 400%, whatever you need, again, depending on your scene. So, so that's, that's a quick, easy way. And you'll notice when I move this, there's no... Since there's no seams, you won't have any problem with the camera, camera movement, or any more complex movements where you'd see seams that would disrupt. Another thing I'll show you is you don't have to be symmetrical. So let's just say he was going to be walking down a street, so we need it uh, a narrower and long. So we can make the X 
We come right back over, we make sure the material is selected to diffuse. And all we do on the tiling is we would select two since the X is now 200%. And there we go. Now we have a long narrow. So it doesn't have to be a square. Uh, and it could be fractions, two and a half, one and a half. Um, and if it's 150%, you just put 1.5. And it will adjust the normal and all the other uh, displacement maps that along with the diffuse and now you have a cobblestone area that your character could be animated on, add some buildings, uh, maybe make an alleyway. Um, and, and, and it's really that simple. So with that, I'll go ahead and end the tutorial. Um, again, just a quick tip that I wanted to share. Again, uh, like and subscribe and have a great day.